Hey everyone and thanks for joining us for another Airbrush Asylum video. This is just a quick video. I filmed this on my phone because we're having dramas with the internet at the moment. So I didn't want to do it on the, um, the regular camera and then try and upload it. But that should be fixed today, hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyway, thought I'd make this quick video just to update you on the progress so far on the Eagle Trike. Um, we're getting a lot of murals done. So I know it's been a little while since my last post, so I thought I better just put something out there so you can see where we're at, and then um, we'll bring out another video once it's all done. All right, let me just spin the camera around and I'll show you uh, some of the artwork that we've completed so far. All right, one second. So this is the front cowl. So you can see the, um, the artwork was masked up we just used an application tape, which is um, pretty much what you get from a sign supply shop. We used the paper one so that we could draw the eagle on there. You may have seen that in the, well, this particular one in the last video that we put out. Um, the lighting's playing tricks on me with that red and throwing all the colors out, but you can see, kind of see there. So obviously once that's cleared, that red metallics going to come back through so there's just a basically just around the edges just got to clean up around the edges I'll do that once I put the intercoat clear on um, I use the SG100 intercoat clear by House of Color that way it protects the artwork seals it in and then um, I can pretty much just clean up any of the edges that I need to moving right along We've got another smaller eagle here. So this is on one of the guards. This is a trike, remember? So it's a Harley trike. And we've got this particular eagle which has landed. And I've kind of made it look a bit like the Australian outback with some sort of dryish, greenish plants that he's landed in. Let's get a close up of the detailing again the edges some of the edges just got to clean up um, because it's water-based paint I'll go around the edge and just remove any of the little bits of overspray with a uh, cotton bud or a q-tip as known in America and then once the um, intercoat goes on I'll take a look at it it may need um, you know just a little bit of freehand airbrushing around the edges to soften some of those edges but generally once the clear goes on um, everything blends in nicely so we've got the tank over here as well the tanks just gonna get some feathers on the top with a bit of like a true fire type real subtle just to tie it in we just wanted to put something on the top of the tank that that relates back to the Eagles so there's those ones which are all done we've got one more to do on the rear of this guard which will be the eagle sitting well it's sitting in and eating some roadkill so that's this one's meant to be searching for roadkill and this one's landed sort of also looking for it some of the airbrushes that we've been using on this project also the paper templates well that's the one I'm doing at the moment so you can see I've just cut the beak out so all these are printed to scale I am filming the entire uh, project. There's some of the paints. So we're using a mixture of Createx illustration colors and Trident paints. And moving right along, you can see I'm filming, but I thought this is a perfect time to just show you. So I did the initial um, sepia once it was once the mask was removed. So I hand cut all the edges, removed the positive section, put a base coat down and then used my paper template and I'd already cut out sections of the paper template to create my shading and basically laid that on. You can see here these ones are sharper so that's sort of how they look when you first spray them and then as the project goes on it'll get softened but it's just a good way I didn't draw on this particular um, guard at all so no pencil, I'm just doing it all with the paper template and then freehand, I'm working off my reference up there as well. All right, 
So I have the screen up there to keep referring back to my reference and I also usually have an iPad so my references are just generated in Photoshop and you can see now I've done the sepia I've also done some burnt umber which is this color here and a little bit of yellow in the eye a bit of um, transparent sort of pinky color which is mixed up with transparent base reducer one drop of scarlet and one drop of red violet and now I'm working back over the top with the white then the next tone that I'm going to use is the sepia tone then probably white highlights again and then I do one last pass um, really detailing with a sort of like a browny bluey black mix um, because the wedge tailed eagles they have that sort of darker feathery color all right so you can see i'm also utilizing some freehand templates so i might pop some of these links these are the true fire templates might pop some affiliate links in the description so that you guys can check out what i'm actually using and some of the key colors that i'm using on this project uh, from the uh, createx range so there you have it let me just spin this back around so there you have it thanks again for joining me just look just a quick video I just wanted to show you what's going on regarding the Eagle trike so it should be finished by I'd say end of next week at the latest um, and then we get our next project which, which is the chopper so that's going to be dragons and hellhounds so stay tuned for that um, fingers crossed the internet gets sorted um, it's killing me at the moment so I've got stuff that I, I want to upload and get out there, but have no way of doing it at the moment. So it's real sketchy. Um, so apologies for the delays in some of the uploads, but I thought at least this way I can keep you guys up to date. So anyhow, thanks for joining us. Go grab your airbrush, go and create some amazing artwork yourself. And until next time, if this is the first time to this channel and you want to be a part of our community, we'd love to have you. Feel free to hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon, which will notify you every time we put out new content. And I will see you guys very soon. Take it easy. Bye for now.